Welcome Bulldog fans. I have with me linebacker Ty Johnson. Where's number 44? You stand about 5'11", 220. Is that right? Yeah. Somewhere in that neighborhood you play even bigger than that. Uh, if there's anybody that goes straight down the line, no uh, weaving one way or the other, it's you, son. You you go right to the ball. And, and usually you're the first guy there. Yeah. So it's fun to watch you play defense because you're very fierce and uh, there's no holding back, right? Um, tell me a little bit about being a captain this year and what that means to you as a senior. Um, yeah. Um, last year I was a captain, but we have a new team this year. Sure. And so throughout spring ball and the summer, I had to prove myself again that I wanted to be a leader on this team. and. Um, luckily, uh, thankfully, I got voted captain again this year and um, got a lot of good leaders with me on this team. Sure. Uh, so it's not like I'm carrying load or anything. We right. got Easton, Isaac, and right. Zane. So we got a good group and a lot of experience coming back. So it's not that tough. Yeah. Tell me about on the defensive side, what's, um, I don't know, what's your favorite call without giving away any kind of a possible, uh, you know, tips to other teams, but what's your favorite alignment? Let's say that. I don't know. Just me playing in the middle, being able to go side to side and not really having any responsibility, but just go play fast, go yeah. play hard. That's yeah. kind of like, that's kind of how I want sure. it. Sure. So. Do you try to model your linebacker style after somebody in the NFL or college level? or Not really. Yeah. I just try to go out there and hit somebody as hard as I can. Sure. That's, that's about it. Yeah. How long have you been playing football? I've been playing football since first grade, I think. I was at Summit Christian, okay. and then I went to Broken Arrow, okay. and then I came here in seventh grade. Seventh grade, okay. Tell me a little bit about your family. We talked about it last year, but I know it means the world to you, but to have them there on Friday nights, tell us a little bit about your family. Yeah, so my dad, he was a soccer player oh, wow. at Northeastern State, so he never played football, so, okay. um, but he was one of my coaches growing up, sure. uh, taught me how to play a little bit, and uh, my mom's been supportive ever since, and they've been at every one of my games since I can remember so yeah. it's been a really cool um, sports family yeah all kinds of sports going on sure so on defense I, I like to call you the bell cow you, you know the bell cows the the head cow that has the bell around their neck and everybody follows the sound of the bell and and you lead that way right you lead that way on defense you led the team in tackles last year I believe 39 solo tackles I believe it was 79 assists and then 118 total um, I expect you to lead the way again this year is that yeah. kind of your expectation for yourself yeah um it's gonna be tough this year we got a lot of guys that are capable um early last year i think we were sitting here saying that we have a few guys that don't have as much experience and uh but this year they all return sure so we got a lot of good guys and just gonna go out there and play hard again you were listed as one of the top 10 uh linebackers on the tulsa world area uh, to watch this year that what that mean to you it's cool um, getting to see your name in the paper. That's sure, kind of what you dream of as a kid. So, um, but I got to go out there and prove it. Right. So that's what it's all about. Something you see a lot is you have usually more than eight tackles a game. Uh, you even had a, a touchdown last year, I believe, an INT reception. Was that right? No, I had a catch. That was only just a catch. Yes. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you had, I think, three kickoff returns. Was it all at Jones? They kept kicking you the ball. Yeah, they didn't want to kick it deep to Griffin. So yeah. So they kept kicking it to me. But Let's go to the linebacker. And you, you did a great job returning it. I know yeah. Rick and, I and Russ were watching it. They just kept going right back to you. But, hey, um, do you love playing special teams? Or any anytime you can get on the field, you're there, huh? Yeah, I mean, special teams, it's not as fun as defense to me. But um, – I don't like being on the sidelines, so I'll take being oh, on the field 100%. <laughs> absolutely. What about – why do you wear number 44? I don't know. That's kind of the number I got as a freshman. Um, it's only a number I've been wearing in high school, and it was a number available, and I took it and said I want to keep it for all four years, Yeah. kind of create my own legacy with it. Kind of so, stuck uh, with you. Yeah. yeah. Just kept yeah. It. You're one of those guys, your helmet's all beat up, man. I mean, you got scars and, and paint missing and – and grass stuck in the, the face mask. I mean, that tells me that you're a football player. Yeah. Um, you guys get to go be pack pals to these little guys. Do you like doing that and going and talking to those little or uh, bulldogs? Yeah, it's always awesome um, because those kids look up to you. Sure. And, um, you just want to set a good good example and uh, make them want to look up to you. And yeah. uh, hopefully they all come out Friday night and see the way we play and want to dream of being Lincoln Bulldogs. Sure. There. Sure. So senior year, you're getting some college looks. Um, let me let me try to read off some of these. Oklahoma Baptist is already offered, correct? Yeah. Do you like OBU? I like OBU. Um, obviously a great place. We went up there for the semifinal game last yes. year. 
that's not too far away from home. So right. that's definitely something I'm interested in. Arizona Christian uh, University is another one, Northwestern Oklahoma State, mm -hmm. uh, and Bethel College. These are all that I noticed on your Twitter page were interested in you. Yeah. Are there any others? Um, there's a couple. Okay. Uh, D3's in Ohio right now. Okay. So, but um, the local ones, yeah, you mentioned. Sure. Arizona, are you, do, you, do you want to play at the next level? I do. Um, still playing football and baseball. So yeah. I haven't really made any decisions yet. Um, we'll see, though. We've kind still of see, got some time. See how the year goes. Yeah. And um, thoughts on Hall and Hall. I know you were quoted in the paper the other day, and yeah. if you want to quote that same quote, that's fine too. So yeah, the, uh, they're a good team. They've been that way the last two years, and uh, it's been good battles against them. I felt like last year we were competed better against them. It was a little closer game, but um, it's a new year. Sure. And uh, we return a lot of guys, and a lot of guys that have been in that game and right. know what it's like. So. Expectation is uh, to be back in the state championship, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that that's kind of becoming the normal yeah. uh, around here. Uh, it's the number one versus number two game. I believe it's number four in the Tulsa world. There's some big games this week, and, yeah. and what a way to lead the season, right, to, to get it kicked off. Let's play a little hot seat here. Uh, I don't think you got these uh, questions yet, so this is just whatever comes to your mind, all right? Yeah. Ford or Chevy? Ford. All right, early morning practice or late evening practice? Early morning practice. You like to get it over with? Yeah, the weather's Cooler. a little nicer. All right, uh, how about this? A gasser, running a gasser as a sprint or a 100-yard um, dash? 100-yard dash, probably not as many turns. Not as many turns, yeah. It's yeah. hard to get turned and going back the other way. All right, how about this one? I think I may ask this last year. Sack for a loss, which you've had a ton of, or an INT? I'm going to go INT this year. I haven't had one of those yet. All right, so. What if uh, you get an INT for pick six? Would it change your mind then? That would probably change my mind. Probably change so. your mind. All right. Grass field, and I think I asked this last year, or turf field. Grass field. Yeah. The Seminole game last year was by far my favorite. It was a bunch of mud and grass, and like you said, it was in my helmet yeah. and everything. Yeah. So those are my favorite pictures to go back and look at. Yeah. Uh, I remember like, you guys warming up. You were down in the corner of the end zone, and it was already all muddy where yeah. the big boys were down there you know, working. And, uh, yeah, our white unis were already uh, pretty dark. Yeah. Uh, favorite college team? Oh, you. All right. Um, I like asking this question. There's been different answers here. Who wins in a 100-yard dash? Is it Coach Bigby, Coach Walsh, and now we have a new dark horse, Coach Landers. I'll take Coach Walsh. He's the track coach. Yeah, so, I mean. I'll take it, Coach Walsh. Coach Landers has been a favorite as well. Yeah. Uh, how about this one? Arm wrestling match. Who wins, Coach Ricky or Coach Fulham? Coach Ricky. Coach Ricky. Coach Ricky. Yeah. He, uh, back in the day, he really could uh, get after it. But, hey, man, I wish you nothing but the best of luck this year. Congratulations on your college looks. Um, have a great year, all right? Appreciate and uh, lead this team and, and um, get us right back to that championship, okay? Good. good luck, all right?